It takes at least two people to remove a helmet from a patient while maintaining the patient's head and neck in a neutral position. One person stabilizes the patient's head and neck from the head of the bed by placing one hand on either side of the helmet. This position prevents slippage once the helmet strap is loose. The second person loosens the helmet strap at the D-rings or fastener. If the helmet has a face cover, that must be removed first. Then they place one hand anteriorly on the patient's mandible at the angle, with the thumb on one side and the fingers on the contralateral side. With their other hand, they apply pressure from under the patient's head at the occipital region, taking care not to flex or extend the neck. This maneuver transfers the responsibility for inline immobilization to the second person who is at the side of the bed. The first person at the head of the bed then expands the helmet laterally to clear the ears and carefully removes it. If the helmet provides full facial coverage, the patient's nose will impede helmet removal. To clear the nose, the helmet needs to be tilted backward and raised over the patient's nose taking care not to bend the neck. During this process, the second person maintains inline immobilization from below to prevent head tilt. After the helmet is removed, inline manual immobilization is reestablished from above and the patient's head and neck are secured.